algebra students, Mr. Lawrence here with your next flipped lesson. And we're getting down to the end days. Uh, we're going to learn how to subtract rational expressions. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to turn them all into addition problems. And when we do that, it's going to be just like last night's homework, which should be real simple. So we're going to change them all to addition problems. And here's how we're going to do that. Uh, you see this negative here? Remember that there is no difference between negative one-half, negative one-half, or one over negative two, right? doesn't matter if that negative is in the numerator, denominator, or in the middle. All three fractions are equivalent. What I'm going to suggest is that we have a fraction that looks like this, and we are going to turn it into a fraction that looks like this. It's going to be really simple. And that's going to keep us from making some mistakes. So let's get down to it. And let's go boop, boop. Yeah, I just changed the negative up to the numerator and put a plus in between. Now it's just like the homework we were doing. So I'm going to factor my denominators whenever possible. x squared. Oh no, see, let me. x squared minus 9 is going to factor as x plus 3 times quantity x minus 3. Got to look in for my SCD. I'm going to. Yeah, I think I'm going to find it. Let's see here, LCD. Where are you, LCD? I'm going to need an X plus 3 in my LCD. Shoom, shoom. I don't have the whole LCD. Need an X minus 3. There we go. Got the whole thing going. Might as well do restrictions before I go too far. X cannot equal plus or minus 3. Now I've got 1 over X plus 3, X minus 3 plus negative 3 over x plus 3. I know that the second fraction does not have the common denominator, so I'm going to multiply it by an x minus 3 in the denominator and an x minus 3 in the numerator. When I do that, my new problem becomes 1 over the LCD Plus, now look at this. I've got to distribute a negative. This is why we did that little plus minus thing, okay? So we had negative 3x plus 9 over the LCD. And when I do that, I'm going to get a negative 3x plus 10 over the LCD. And of course, that's true. X does not equal plus or minus 3. And there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, problem number two. Same deal here. Going to factor, and I believe this will factor like this. We were looking for the LCD. Oh, LCD, wherefore are the my LCD? LCD, where are you? Well, I need an X minus 4 as part of my common denominator. That doesn't look much like a 4, does it? Hold on one second there. All right, shoomp, shoomp. And I need an X minus 3 in my LCD. Shoomp, I've got my LCD. Let's go do the restrictions. X is not allowed to be 3 or 4. If you're not sure how I'm doing that so quick, come see me sometime. All right. Now, the first fraction has the LCD, the second fraction doesn't. It's missing an X minus 3. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I forgot to do my plus minus thing. Plus minus. I should really do that first, all right? Whenever I have subtracting a fraction, I'm going to change it to a plus or minus, at least in the rational expressions. So now I have this problem, 5 over the LCD. Plus, I'm going to distribute a negative 1, a negative x plus 3, over the LCD. And I'm going to get a negative x plus an 8 over the LCD. And x will not equal 3 or 4. 
And there we go. Same exact thing we were doing except the plus minus trick. All right, get ready. Here it comes. Ready? Plus minus. All right, now I'm ready to factor. Ooh, it looks like I want to pull out an x first of all. That'll give me an x squared plus a 6x plus a 9. But that inside there factors one more time, doesn't it? Let's do x plus 3, x plus 3. So, all right. I now have this fraction, 6x over x times quantity of x plus 3 times quantity of x plus 3. And I have negative 7 over x plus 3. I notice that these x's can shoop a bop and shoop a ba cancel out. All right, so I can go looking for my LCD. LCD, LCD, where are the? All right, x plus 3, I can take care of one of those and one of those. But I still need another one of those. So I'll put it over here. The x plus 3 times x plus 3 is my LCD. So my second fraction is missing an x plus 3 in the denominator. Before I go do that, I'm going to look for my restrictions. And I know that x cannot equal plus or minus 3. But I also know from this one right here, x cannot be 0. All right. As I said a minute ago, my second fraction was missing an x plus 3 in the denominator. So I'll multiply by x plus 3 over x plus 3. <coughs> Giving me the problem, 6 over the LCD plus negative 7 distributed, negative 7x minus 21 over the LCD. which when I combine like terms can turn into negative 7x minus 15 over the LCD. And that is true when x does not equal plus or minus 3 or 0. And there you go. I'm getting so good at these. It's scary. All right, tell you what, look at this one here. Why don't you try it? See if you can do it step by step. I'll be back to show you my solution in a moment. Okay, hopefully you've done the first step. Here it comes. Are you ready? Are you ready for the first step? Plus, minus. Okay, now see if you can do the second step all on your own. I'll give you a hint. It's the big F word. Here comes the second step. Going to factor out an X. Going to keep on factoring. Bob, do bop, vectoring, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm feeling a little loopy today, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to rewrite things. Hopefully, you're keeping up with me. I'm going to rewrite the fraction because, because something cool is going to happen. Now, before I go looking for my uh, LCD or my restrictions, I notice I have an x plus 1 in the numerator and an x plus 1 in the denominator. They can cancel out, leaving behind a 1 in the numerator. Now, I'm going to do my restrictions right now. I know x cannot be 1 or 0, but I also know it can't be negative 1 because of that guy. He counts, right? So it can't be any of those numbers. Now I'm going to go look for the LCD. LCD. And it looks like I need an x. Shoop. And I need an x minus 1. Shoop, shoop. Very good. So now we need to do nothing to the first fraction and multiply the second fraction by the x that it was missing. And when we do that, we are going to get. 1 over the LCD plus over the LCD. Combine it like terms. I don't see any.
And that's true when x does not equal plus or minus 1 or 0. And there is your difference, the answer to subtraction problem. All right, so what do we do? We, when something like this, you know, we had a fraction. And the first thing we did goes plus minus. So the first thing we did was change all the problems to addition problems. Then we factored all our denominators. Then we found our restrictions. Then we went looking for the LCD. Then we multiplied the fractions by what they needed to be multiplied by so they could have the LCD. And then we combined like terms and we're done. Boom. There you go. All right, Mr. Lord, signing off. Have a good night, everybody.